A letter from Harry's wife. Number two. Dear Greta, Greetings from one planet saviour to another. I must admit, I was so very pleased to note that you started saving the world when you were a young girl. I started saving people and thus the world when I was young, younger than you, but of course I am a pioneer and first to do everything. I saved women from the tyranny of misogynistic advertisements when I wrote to Procter & Gamble and made them change an advertisement. Girl power! That was the start of my journey to becoming the strong, independent woman I am today. And you can do that too, which is why I am writing to you. I want to share Harry's wife, Duchess of Sussex's top 10 tips for becoming a strong, independent woman. Because I sense you could do very great things with an experienced guide such as me, besides you. Luckily for you, I am that guide. And you will see, I've also enclosed pamphlets for a few of my courses held on retreat, such as Become a Humanitarian Overnight. How to sign bananas authentically. How to connect with the little people. And, no prince, no problem. Key isms to reach to the top. These courses are an absolute steal at $15,000 a time. I'm sure you will find several that will be of considerable use to you. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. My top 10 tips. I've watched you in action, Greta, and take it from me, an experienced woman of strength and independence, that you really do need some help to improve yourself. I am a firm believer that we can all look within ourselves and find something truly organic and authentic to bring to the table and empower the world to make it a better place. But we must first start within ourselves. My top 10 tips are needed by you, Greta. And I offer them to you as a symbol of our kinship, as changers of worlds, eco-warriors extraordinaire, and of course, pioneers. Here's the top 10 just for you. Number one, learn to smile like me. My beautiful smile radiates warmth. You tend to scowl, and that means unfriendly, Greta. Copy my smile and see how people, especially young children, will flock to you. Number two, stop dressing like you're going hiking. That does not do you any favours. How on earth can you expect to bag a prince of Nordic land or a Volvo or Ikea hair if you dress down. Dress for success. 3. Find some meaningful buzzwords. How dare you and blah 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 are rather tired now. I find organic, inclusive, authentic and togetherness work very well. I can help you with some new buzzwords and phrases with my $499 Supreme Speech Writer. Essentially, it is a set of magnetic words which you just throw at a refrigerator and then read back what the corresponding sentences say and place it in the speech. Absolutely brilliant. All of my speeches are written in this manner. Number four, get your merchandise in order. You are well-known, Greta. Leverage your well-knownness and start selling some Greta merch. After all, an environment-saving Tesla isn't cheap, so you need to ensure you are merched up. That reminds me, Elon hasn't returned my calls about my complimentary Tesla. I guess he must be busy. Number five, get a title. They work wonders at getting you invited to things. And 
make sure that you mention your title whenever you can. For instance, when answering a telephone or the intercom when somebody is at the front gate. My crystal clear, Harry's wife, Duchess of Sussex speaking, how can I tell you to live your life, works very well indeed. Number six, stop shouting at world leaders and instead make them your friends. That way they won't inadvertently forget to invite you to their birthday celebrations. Yes, Mr. Obama, I'm looking at you. Number seven, get the celebrities on board. I see you are friends with Sir David Attenborough. That's a good start. You might think about marrying him. That way you would become Lady Greta. See points earlier about getting a title. And he has national treasure. So remember, clothes and jewellery and facials are a must and they don't come cheap. And a strong and independent woman deserves to have a man that can afford to buy them for her. Number eight. Understand anybody who does not agree with you is either a basic hater or put them in an ism box or an ist box. That way your innate superiority can shine through more readily. Number nine. If you run out of ideas don't be afraid to copy somebody else's ideas. After all, an idea is just a thought, and nobody owns our thoughts, do they? That would be something out of a George Orwell novel. See, lots of fresh ideas, and nobody can stop you using them. Number 10. Write some bugs. I'm very good at writing them, and bugs make you look clever and well-read. Your English could do with some improvement. Honestly, Greta, it sometimes comes across as if it's a second language for you. So write those books and you'll improve your English and you'll look brainy too. And we all know people who look brainy are obviously brainy. And there you are, my top 10 tips guaranteed to make you an eco-warrior almost on a par with me. I would write more, but I must dash now. I have a jet waiting to take me to New York to buy some more clothes. Let me know how you get on. Your mentor, patronising as ever, Harry's wife.